everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about nail stamping. I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I just haven't got around to it but I did today get a delivery from Beauty Big Bang with some new stamping plates and new stamper and stuff so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do this video. So I'm going to go over quite a few things in this video. It might be a little bit long but I'm going to show you some really really good techniques for nail stamping, some different kind of effects you can achieve with it. I'm going to show you the different types of nail stampers that you can get different types of stamping polishes that you can get or the ones that I like anyway and also the different brands of stamping plates that I use and I'm also going to show you some bad ones as well so you can know what to look for when you're buying and then I have got some new ones from Beauty Big Bang that I'm going to show you as well. So what I'll do first is I will go through the new plates that I got today. I'll show you how I store all of my stamping plates and then we'll move on to the nail stamp and the different kinds of polishes and then I'll show you some funky little things that you can do with nail stamping right from basic how to do just a simple quick design and up to some more complicated things. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the new stamping plates that I received today from Beauty Big Bang. Of course, I will link everywhere down below. The links in the description box today are going to be quite long-winded because I'm showing you so many products, but I want you guys to be able to find these things. So I have never used Beauty Bag Bang before for anything. Um, I ordered a couple of stamping plates, these four here. I also used this, ordered a stamper, which I'll show you later when I show you the rest of the stampers. I did try and order some of their stamping polish because I would have really liked to try that and show you that, but unfortunately they emailed me saying that for some reason they were unable to ship it to the UK. I don't know if that was because I was ordering from the US warehouse. Else. Bear in mind if you're ordering from Big Bang Beauty Big Bang or Born Pretty or somewhere that's based in China, they usually have two warehouses, one in China and then one in the US. If you order from the US, your shipping will be much quicker, but you won't be able to get as many of the items that you usually can. So it's sometimes worth waiting the three to four weeks that shipping can take from China, but I have also had it as quick as like two weeks before. So anyway, these are the four stamping plates that I got. I just got four because obviously I didn't know if they were going to be any good. So I haven't peeled any of these off yet, but I can already feel that that is engraved really well. And that's one of the things that you want to look for when you're buying stamping plates, because if it's not engraved properly, you won't be able to pick up the pattern. So this one is Beauty Big Bang 025. And as you can see, it has got butterfly designs on it. Then the other one that I picked up, again, usually when I buy stamping plates, I only go for the big ones, but I thought these were quite cute, these little ones, and I really like the design of this one. This one is Beauty Big Bang 019, and as you can see, that it's like animal designs there, and I thought that would be really, really cute. The other thing to bear in mind when you're buying stamping plates is the size of the actual design itself. So this is the third one that I got, and as you can see, it's a lot smaller. This one is... Beauty Big Bang 020 and as you can see the actual design itself is much smaller than these ones and it will vary from plate to plate so you just need to make sure that the design you're using is big enough for the nail that you're trying to cover so when I show you um, how to do this in a little while I'll show you on different size nails and stuff the fourth and final one that I got from Beauty Big Bang is XL013. So these are XL obviously means they're large stamps, and as you can see again, the size of the pattern changes again, so it'll fit onto longer nails. I actually got this one with my mum in mind, she loves cats, and I thought I could make her some funky little cat nails. So if mum, if you're watching, you can expect some cat nails at some point, don't ask me when. So those are the four that I got today, and just to show you how I actually store my stamping plates. I actually store them, now I'm sorry this isn't a great view, but I can't get my camera any further away than it already is. This is just literally a Perspex box, I think it was from B&M, I think it came in a set with loads of different sizes and I use them in my um, uh, Alex drawers that I store all of my nail stuff in and they're really really handy to have and I think if I'm right it was like 3 dollars for 9 different size boxes and as you can see these fit in here really well. 
you can get the folders for stamping plates but for me personally I just find this a lot easier to be able to flip through and find what I'm looking for straight away so I do tend to keep all of my Born Pretty together my Modu these ones at the front are various companies might be Born Pretty might be Modu where I've actually lost the packaging and that actually really annoys me now because I can look at these little stickers and I just tend to remember what plates they are so I wish I had the packaging for those these ones at the front as you can see have no branding they are a lot less um, thick they're nowhere near as good quality these particular ones are engraved fine but just be aware that if you're buying from Amazon or eBay for me personally when it comes to nail stamping it is one of those things that you do need to spend a little bit more money on if you buy cheap you're going to get cheap and you're just not going to get good results and it's just going to be frustrating for you so um, again I have some little ones this is a good example I haven't even used this one but it came in a set with this one I think and this although it feels really well engraved it just doesn't pick up at all just, it doesn't matter what polish I use or what stamper or whatever it just doesn't want to work so that is how I store all of my stamping plates they obviously are quite heavy so if you're keeping these in a drawer I would suggest keeping them in the bottom drawer so moving on to the different types of stamps you can get this is just a small selection of the type of stampers you can get there's so many different ones out there I always prefer the clear stampers and I'll show you why in a minute. I am pretty ashamed to show you this but this is like my much loved stamper. You can see how much it's loved, it's completely wrecked which is why I had ordered a couple of new ones for doing this video because I was quite embarrassed about this. But it's well well loved and you can actually get replacement heads for this. It is a Born Pretty one so if I can find the link to that on their website I'll pop it down below or I should have it in my email somewhere from when I did order it. It is but this is probably needing to go in the bin because it just even when you try and clean it up it's just not happening now. So the different types of stampers that you can get really the two main differences other than the size is whether they are clear or not so obviously this is not clear and what I mean by that is you can't see through it so when you pick up the design on this personally I don't like these rectile rectangle ones anyway I find them too small to work with they're just not my thing but might work for you and um, but obviously when you come to put on the nail you can't see where you're placing the design so for me it's it's not it's not very good that is a moyu one i think that just came free with maybe a set of polishes or something i'm not sure this is actually the first stamper i ever had my brother bought me this for my birthday years ago before i was really into nail art and stuff and it was really the thing that kind of got me into stamping so he was a little star for getting me this because i really didn't know that much about stamping before he got me this and i certainly didn't know much about moyu so again this is a great stamper but again it's not clear so you can't see through it. This is the Marshmallow Stamper, yeah. Um, it does come with a little scraper. Scrapers, uh, are well, is a personal preference thing. I do like my scraper to be a bit firmer, like this one. Whereas this one is the Big Bang one, it's quite flimsy. Um, I like the size of this, but I don't like it to be floppy. Whereas this one that came with this unbranded stamper is firm, but it's a little bit bigger than this one. So but I do find myself using random loyalty cards and stuff at times if I've misplaced my cards which happens quite a lot in this house but my favourite kind of stampers are the clear ones and I've got two different kinds here I've got a short one and a long one effectively they are the same thing though say exactly the same type of head obviously this one is from Beauty Big Bang this is just an um, unbranded one that I got on eBay for quickness was expecting it to be crap but it's actually really really good so I will link that down below as well as I said the links on this video are probably going to be quite long but if we flip them over obviously you can see right through them so you can see exactly where you're putting your design the only differences is obviously this one is a bit further away but you have more room to work with whereas this one is a little bit trickier to hold so those are my particular favorite kind of stampers so moving on to polish now before I start actually showing you how to do stampers I'm really sorry about the length of this video it is going to be a long one and um, so these are the four brands of polish that I preference for stamping this one, I don't have too many of these, but this is Conad. They are really, really well pigmented and they work perfectly. I've never had an issue with them. Um, I think you can buy them online. I actually managed to get a couple of these out of Sally's, but if I can find the link for them online, I will certainly send that to you. As I'll put it in the description down below. This one is a model's own chrome. Now this is not actually a stamping polish, it's a normal polish. 
Generally, nine times out of 10, normal nail polish will not work when you are trying to stamp. It's not pigmented enough, it's not got the consistency that it needs to have to stamp, it doesn't dry quick enough. Um, but for chrome polishes, chrome polishes are usually pretty handy, and particularly these model zone ones, the chrome collection, I think there are 10 in this set, there's 10 colours. Um, these are really, really good for stamping, so I'll show you how to use those. Born Pretty ones, again, really, really good. I don't have too many of these, just purely because have you know taken so long for them to come. However, I have seen them on Amazon of late. Um, so you can get them on Amazon and sometimes they're available under Prime but just be aware that when they are on Amazon Prime they are going to cost you more than if you ordered from Born Pretty Direct. And then last not but least, but these are probably my favourite stamping polishes of all, the Moyu ones. I really, really like them, really well pigmented. They are a bit pricier than the others, they range at about £7. However, if you grab them while they're on sale, excuse me, uh, try that again. So these are really well pigmented um, and they have the right consistency and if you grab them while they're in the sale you can get them for about three, three pound fifty each. Okay so moving on to the actual fun bit now is where I'm going to show you these designs. So I've already painted up eight different nails in different shapes and sizes because so, I'm going to show you eight different ways. So as I say this is going to go on a little bit so if you just want to skip through to see the designs being done then of course you can do that. So I've already painted the colours that I want as my base for these two designs here, the multicolored ones, if you're interested in knowing how to do that, then if you can go and watch my gel polish five ways video, which is should be the last video on this channel, if not just a couple before, um, and you can see how to create those looks with gel polish. So for now, I'm just going to get set up with everything that I need to actually do the stamping, and we'll crack on. Okay, so I'm gonna to switch to voiceover in a minute so that I can show you all these looks, but just to begin with, I just want to show you the essentials that I use for stamping. So obviously, in, other than using my stamper, and I'm gonna use a combination of these two today, just so you can see them. Um, so you need your stamper, you'll also need your scraping card, which I have just mislaid, like I always do, but I'll find it in a minute. You're also gonna need, what I use is sticky labels. To clean my stamper off, I just use one label at a time and then I can keep the backing paper as a palette for when I'm doing nail art and then that's just a disposable palette, there's no cleaning involved um, and I just get these out of the pound shop, super cheap. Then of course you're going to need some acetone and some cotton pads or lint-free pads, whatever it is you're using. You can also get plastic back pads, which if you're doing a lot of nail stamping are good because if they've got the plastic on the back and you're constantly rubbing with acetone, it's not going to affect your own nails as much. Um, but I don't have any in stock at the moment, so I'm just going to use these cotton pads. I think that's pretty much it at the moment. For my first design, I am going to be using this cap plate that I showed you before. And just quickly to prepare a brand new stamping plate, it's really important. I did see um, before a couple of people saying, oh, I can't get stamping to work for me. And they had actually forgotten to take this blue thing off or not realizing you take that off. So you do need to take that off, which is being a little bit tricky for me today. I can't do it with my nails, so I'll do that off camera. And then you're just gonna wipe over this with acetone. You can also use a little brush to brush over, make sure there's no dust on there, and then you're all ready to go. So just before you use your stamper, I always just go over with the sticky label, just make sure there's no dust or anything on there. I've already cleaned over my pad. That is the design I'm gonna use for this particular look. And this is just the basic um, stamping, like no airs and graces, just completely basic. And I'm using Moyu White Knight. So this first design I'm doing is just completely basic stamping. So you want to make sure you have an adequate amount of product on one side of the design, scrape over once or twice, and then literally just stamp. It's, I don't find it any more complicated than that. I know some people tend to roll, but you just need to find what works for you. As you can see, I wasn't impressed with this stamper to begin with. It's not picked up the pattern completely, and I did try this a couple of times. So I'm gonna try it again with another stamping plate and see, but to be honest, not impressed with this stamper, and you'll see some more of that later. So then you're just pressing the design down onto the nail, rolling from side to side to make sure you've caught all the edges. Press um, and take away any excess, and that's it done. So as you can see, not a great transfer, but it's that's just basic stamping. And I'll top coat all of these at the end to show you later. I'm just cleaning off that um, stamping plate with acetone now, putting it back in its case, and then I'll use the sticky label to remove any excess residue from my stamper, and then we'll move on to the next one. So this next one is just gonna be taking a single image from the plate, so just the small designs, and I'm using the Born Pretty plate A08, and it's La La Pope. 
and it's just got some really nice geometric designs on it. So I'm just going to take this triangle design, I'm just giving it a clean over to make sure it's nice and clean before we begin. And again, I'm going to try this um, big beauty bang stamper again, but you're going to see why I'm, I just don't like it. So with your stampers as well, the silicone top is really important. It needs to have a sticky texture to it. If it doesn't, it's not going to pick up the um, stamps as well. So I decided to go to my non-branded one, which I've already tried before and I knew that it was good. And it has a lot stickier top, the silicone top. So as you can see, that lifted much better. So that's what you want. You need something that's gonna lift well. If stamping's not working for you, it's well worth trying a few different stampers. So because I just want that single image, I just came in with my sticky label and removed all of the bits and pieces that I don't want. And then I'm just looking through the clear stamper to sit that onto the nail. So the next thing that we're doing is the larger images and I really struggle with this, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I decided to use the Models Own Chrome Polish for this because I thought it would have a really nice effect on the nude nail that I chose, but unfortunately it just didn't pop the way I wanted it to. So I'll do this again with maybe some different color combinations and I'll pop them onto my Instagram. Again, I'm just using the sticky label there to remove the excess that I don't need. Um, I think the nail that I was using was a little bit large for this design as well, so it just didn't sit as nicely as it could have done. So I'll try it again for you guys at some point and um, pop it on my Instagram so you can see it better because there's nothing wrong with the plate or the polish or anything. It was just the colour combination that I chose wasn't great. You couldn't really tell that it's meant to be a dog. I'm still using the same method as I did with the other two because your method doesn't change when you're nail stamping. You just want to make sure you scrape once or twice, no more than that because you don't want to remove too much polish. Stamp it straight in with the stamper. If you leave it too long, it will dry and you won't be able to pick it up and you'll need to redo it. So this is a little bit more interesting than the other ones we've done. It's a negative space stamp. So that's why I've done the multicolored background because you'll see now when I stamp this, how beautiful this looks. So you just pick up the image as you always would. And then I don't need to remove any of the excess because it's not gonna overlap onto my nail. Press it down over the multicolored design that I've placed underneath and just look how beautiful that looks with all the different colors coming into the flowers. I really, really love negative space designs. They are so fun, you can do so much with them. Different colored glitters, they're really, really nice. So this next one, we're gonna do some accenting. So same method as we've done several times before, just picking up our image to begin with. But for this one, I've picked up an image which is almost like a stained glass. You can see again, I'm just showing you this Big Bang Beauty whatever stamper, it, it's just no good. You know, maybe some people get on with it, but it's not for me. So I stopped using that and went back to my non-branded. I'll link that down below because it is really, really good and I think it was about three quid. So yeah, I'm using this design which has got all these spaces, you know, the pattern's just outlined. And you'll see the reason for that in a minute because we're gonna accent some of these sections with some gold glitter. So you can see the difference here, like how well the design's picked up onto this stamper. So just gonna press that down onto the nail, make sure all the sides are covered by rolling it side to side. And sometimes you need to like sort of stretch the stamper up almost just to make sure your design fully covers. So you, you don't need to stretch a lot, just a little bit. It's When you do it, you'll understand what I mean better, but you need to stretch the design up. So I'm gonna come in now with Gold Leaf from Halo Gel Polish. And I'm just putting a little bit onto that backing paper. Like I said before, I just save the scraps and then I can just decant my product onto them and they just go in the bin. So I've sped this up for you because you're just going to be watching me paint in some gold glitter into some of these little gaps in the design. So just picking out certain little sections, a, you know, a distance apart from each other so that it's obvious that they are accented and just filling them in with the gold glitter. And you could do this with any colour glitter. I really like the Platinum Connection from Halo Gel, Gel Polish because you can see there like the glitter is so poppy. It's really, really good. So for our next design, we're gonna use three different gel pol um, stamping polishes rather than just the one. So we're gonna use multiple colors. So we, the best thing to do is undo all of your bottles first, because as you say, you don't wanna leave this on the plate too long. It will dry, you won't be able to lift it. So undo all of your bottles first, and then you just wanna put all the different colors you're using kind of like in a line. So 
first blob, second blob, third blob. And then when you come over with your stamper, you want to try and blend them together a bit. My blend on this wasn't great and I didn't really actually realise that it wasn't that great until I was editing this video, so apologies for that. You kind of want your colours to blur together a little bit better. Again, you can just see how well that stamper picks up, it's really, really good. Um, this is a Moyu plate that I'm using, I know I've not mentioned all of the plates that I've used but I'll link them in um, or mention, put the names down in the description below. So I call this kind of like wrapping paper design because of the glossy finish that it ends up with. You'll see what I mean when I'm finished. So I actually reverted back to my old stamper for this because I wanted to see how it held up against the new non-branded one that was doing so well. And despite the fact that I have had this for well over a year and as you can see it's been well loved, it still works really really well. So once I have applied my pattern, I come in with a non-wipe top coat and apply that and then we're going to come back in with some like mirror chrome powder and you can see the effect it makes. So I actually ended up doing this twice with you for you with two different colour combinations so you can kind of see the effect. So when you rub the chrome on after you have cured your non-wipe top coat, because you've got the two different colours on there, you end up with like the two different colours of chrome and I don't know, it just gives it like this wrapping paper effect. I don't know why I call it that. I've called it like that since the first time I ever tried it. So I'll show you again with a, another colour. I think I just did black and white on the next one. Yeah, so I just did this one to show you if you use some really, really contrasting colours like black and white, the difference in colours that you end up with from the chrome. So this is like a purple chrome with a green shift. So you can see on the black, it's going like that lovely purpley blue, but on the white, it's going kind of like a greeny colour. It's just really, really beautiful when it catches the light. It's a really nice effect. Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna do our colouring in. So you need a few different polishes. I'm using Kiss Me Quick, Cancun Coral, mint condition and I think this is little pickle yeah so um, you'll be using those colors to color in and you'll see what I mean in a minute so the first job is obviously just to do our normal method again of stamp scraping off and stamping the design that we want to use but you're not going to stamp it straight onto the nail so again using that backing paper as my palette I've decanted those four colors out onto that so that and I've just got my detailer brush so that I can color in these hearts from behind so again, while you've got these stamping polishes on your palette, you do want to move rather quickly because they do have a quicker drying time than normal polish. So you're better just to put a little bit down and then a little bit down and, and not put it all down at once or it'll end up drying before you use it. So I'm just going to go in and randomly colour in all these hearts with the different colours. So once you've made sure that that's fully dry before you stamp it on, you're just going to stamp it as you normally would. So you make sure it's completely dry and then you're just going to press it down onto the nail as you normally would. Roll from side to side, make sure it's covered all of the edges and that's your design transferred over and you've got it all coloured in and it's really, really pretty. It takes a little bit of time but it's well worth it. I just wanted to mention as well, obviously when you're doing this on a client or on normal nails, if this gets onto the skin, don't panic, it comes off really, really easily. You can use a silicone barrier or you can just clean up once you've applied your top coat, which is what I tend to do. So that's all of our eight designs completed. I hope you enjoyed it, found it helpful and interesting and explained everything well enough. As you can see from that first design there, that pink stamper from Beauty Big Bang, I just didn't get on with it. You might, but it's not something I would recommend. The other one was much better and the Born, Born Pretty ones have always been really, really great to me. So if you have any questions or comments or want some more tips on how to do this, you can of course contact me in the comments below or via my social medias. Instagram's your best bet, at Bespoke Dolly Nails or at Beauty by Harriet Christine. I have two. I also have some Facebook pages so you can look those up if you like. Thanks as always for watching. If you did like this video and enjoyed it, I do hope that you subscribe. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to see and I'll see you again soon in the next one.